Fauquier, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with the first edition of One Art Question for 2017. Uh, it's January 3rd today. And this question actually came from Facebook. And uh, um, I, I have a no, a, a sort of firm, no school business um, rule for Facebook. I just try to stick to Facebook, keep Facebook light and it's a way to stay connected with friends and family. But this question was so good, and I figure people are thinking the same question. I figure I'd go ahead and, a and, and answer it. It's a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek question, but I know people are wondering about this very topic, so I'm going to answer, answer this question. It says, uh, and, uh, and Dave Jack, I know you love teachers and, and um, staff of FCPS, but January 5th, exclamation point, question mark, really? I do think the world of you, but patience is running a little thin in our fa in our household these days. Okay, so yeah, we're going back January fifth. The reason for that is pretty pretty straightforward. My wife works in Prince William, and she asked me the same thing. They went back today, and um, the the difference is um, they're not concluding a semester today. In, in other words, our first semester concluded the day before holiday break. So we finished first semester, David Rollick, one of the very few school divisions that does this in the state. And so as soon as students come back in January, first part of January, they're starting a new semester. And this is a particularly important um, as it relates to the high school because, as you probably know, our high schools are on a 4 by 4 schedule. So really they've concluded, if you're looking at it this way, they're looking, they're finishing up a year's worth of instruction prior to holiday break, okay, and when they come back with kids, uh, you know, first week in January, they're really starting a school year over in those three or four classes, okay, so they've, because of the way our schedule is done, they've really concluded a year's worth of instruction first term, and they're beginning a new year uh, as soon as they come back, and so we feel, we've always felt like, even this pre predated me, giving them uh, two days um, to turn the term, as they call it, uh, is really valuable to our teachers because they're really they're not just starting a, this you know starting over after break they're really starting a brand new semester and a brand new year's worth of courses at the high school level that is not I can't speak for everyone else plus that extra day um, the extra day prior to students coming back because most school divisions give one day uh, after holiday break for, to prepare for students coming back. We give two for the reasons I just mentioned, and then we use one of those two days typically for some kind of professional development at the schools. Uh, so that's kind of the long and short of it, why we do it this way. And the other piece of this course is when New Year's Day falls on a Sunday, um, the Monday is typically a state and federal holiday, and that's what's exactly what's happened this year. It fell on a Sunday, so Monday is a holiday, no, one, no one's working. And then um, in Fauquier anyway, Tuesday and Wednesday are staff development slash turn the term days and then kids come back Thursday. It's not typical, but it's the way we do it here. And um, that extra day uh, really makes a big difference for teachers. So hence, we're back on the fifth. And um, so there you go. Uh, and I would also mention that we've surveyed parents since I've been here a couple of times about calendar and parents uh, and, t and staff and teachers really, 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 really value and hold as high priority um, having two weeks off for a holiday break. It's very important to people, so we, we respect that and we stick to that. And so there you go. Hope everyone has a great new year, and please keep the one hard questions coming. Thank you.